Isa sa mga basic skills na kailangan nyo matutunan sa algebra ay evaluating expressions o yung tinatawag na substitution method. So, dito sa mga examples ko, let's say meron ako mga variables or mga values na x equal to 3, y equal to 5, at z equal to negative 2. Evaluate natin at hanapin natin yung um, solutions or yung uh, simplest form ng mga expressions na to by substituting the values of x, y, and z sa mga expressions. So yung letter A, meron tayong x plus 3 at since x is equal to 3, papalitan natin or gagamitan natin ng substitution method yung x para maging 3 siya. So meron ka na nga yung numerical expression na pwede nyo i-simplify kasi pwede na kayong mag-add ng mga numbers. Kung na hindi ka tulad kanina na meron kang variable at saka letter, hindi mo sila pwedeng pagsamahin. So, 3 plus 3 is equal to 6 by using the substitution method. Now, for letter B, I have 2y. At kapag nakakita kayo ng algebraic expression na ganito yung pagkakasulat, ibig sabihin niya, yung operation na gagamitin nyo ay multiplication. So, kung by number ka at may variable right next to uh, each other, so palitan nyo yung y y is equal to 5, so 2 times 5 is equal to 10. So 2y is basically equal to 10 by evaluating your expression using the given variable and its value. Now for letter C, meron tayong 3x minus z. Papalitan natin si x ng 3, papalitan natin si z ng negative 2. So meron tayong 3x which is 3 times 3 at saka z which is negative 2. Now mapapansin nyo na meron tayong operation dito na kailangan i-simplify bago tayo mag-proceed sa next step. Kapag meron tayong dalawang negatives, two negatives makes a positive kasi negative times negative is become positive. So from minus, magiging plus na yung operation nyo. At simplify lang natin yung 3 times 3 which gives us 9. And 9 plus 2 is equal to 11. Now, kailangan nyo matandaan na pagka nag evaluate kayo ng expressions, lahat ng mga natutunan nyo dati ay kailangan nyo gamitin. Tulad ng addition and subtraction of signed numbers, multiplication and division of signed numbers, pati na rin yung order of operation. Where in parenthesis muna, pagkatapos exponent, multiplication, division, addition and subtraction. Sa so example number, number 2, medyo mahaba yung expression natin. Meron tayong 2x minus 3xy plus 4y where x is equal to 3 and y is equal to negative 5. Now, gagamitan ulit natin siya ng substitution method kasi nag evaluate tayo ng expression. So, yung 2x minus 3xy plus 4y, yung mga x's nyo ay magiging 3 at yung mga y's will become negative 5. So, by substitution method, meron tayong 2 times 3, kasi yun yung 2x, 3xy becomes 3 times 3 times negative 5, and 4y becomes 4 times negative 5. Now, using the order of operation, mag-multiply muna tayo ng mga numerical values, so yung 4 times negative 5 will give us negative 20, tapos yung 3 times negative 5 will give us negative 5, and 2 times 3 will give us 6. So meron tayong 6 minus 9 times negative 5 plus negative 20. Now yung plus or minus, katulad nung ginawa natin kanina, kapag may magkaibang sign, magiging minus siya or subtraction, and 9 times negative 5, magiging negative 45, na kalaunan magiging addition kasi meron kang dalawang negative signs dito. So meron kang 6 minus negative 45 minus 20, Simplify nyo muna itong operation na to. 2 negatives becomes positive. So, 6 plus 45 minus 20 yung inyong expression. Now, kapag ka, it, ganito na lang kasimple yung inyong expression, ga, pwede nyo nang gamitan ng left to right method kasi plus or minus na lang yung natitirang operation. So, hindi nyo na kailangan pang tandaan yung order of operation kapag plus or minus na lang yung natitira. So, meron kang 6 plus 45 which is 51 and 51 minus 20 will give you 31. So, to evaluate yung 2x minus 3xy nyo plus 4y, kapag sinubstitute nyo yung value ng x and y, is simply equal to 31. Now, sa la last example natin, meron tayo ngayong exponent. So, meron tayong isosolve yung x squared minus 4xy plus 3y squared, wherein x is equal to 2 at saka yung y is equal to negative 1. Now, to uh, answer or simplify this expression, gagamitan uli natin siya ng substitution method. So, yung mga x's nyo magiging 2 this time, at yung mga y's magiging negative 1. So, you have x which is 2, so 2 squared minus 4 times 
2 times negative 1 plus 3 times negative 1 squared. Now, using the order of operation, kasi meron kang exponent, meron kang subtraction, multiplication, and addition, gagamitan na natin siya ng correct order. So, yung exponent muna, negative 1 squared will become positive 1. Tapos itong dalawang to, pwede natin siyang i-multiply. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. At yung 2 squared will be 4. So, ngayon, pwede na natin i-simplify yung next step by simplifying negative 4 times negative 2. So, negative 4 times negative 2 becomes positive 8. So, hindi ito negative 4 minus 2. Ito ay negative 4 multiplied by negative 2 kasi may parenthesis kayo. So, 4 plus 8 will give you um, and will give you 12 plus 3 which is 15. So, meron ka ngayong sagot wherein na-simplify nyo yung x squared minus 4xy plus 3y squared which is basically equal to 15.